What I'm about to show you, I have never seen before. I'll bet you this captain has a lot of gray hair. He makes an incredible decision here, and I'll explain why I think it's so good. Let's watch. And um, center is United, one, two, six. United, one, two, six, Sagan. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to uh, get a clearance to return to Dulles. Uh, we have a um, a finer situation here with a uh, passenger who has uh, somehow dropped a laptop that was on uh, down the sidewall uh, into the cargo pit area of uh, the airplane. And okay, <laughs> we're just uh, you know we we don't know the status of it. We can't access it. We can't see it. So um, our decision is to uh, return to Dulles and uh, find this uh, laptop before we. Then you're on the ocean. Okay, if you didn't follow all that, all right, I have never seen anything like this. Well, actually, something close to it, but nothing exactly like this before. So this captain now is really a good communicator. He's giving all of the information to air traffic control because they're out now. They've, they're have they about you know, maybe 20 minutes into their journey or so. They're headed over to Europe. They're full of gas. Everybody's thinking, you know, oceanic clearance and, and let's get going. And everybody's settled in in the back and the flight attendants are up and they're starting to serve the meal in the back and Diet Cokes and all that. And everybody's getting underway, right? You kind of get into a rhythm when you, when you go over to Europe. And at some point, some passenger has pulled out his laptop or her laptop and they're, they're doing this sort of thing with it. And they, I, okay, he explains somehow they managed to drop the laptop down a side panel and it slid all the way down, they think, into the cargo compartment. And the laptop was on. Now, how in the world did